Did you know Slash has a higher movement speed when crouching and remains silent? Find out more in this video. Hey guys, Zeniku here again with another video by Quake Champions. In this video, we're going to talk about the intricacies of Slash and some advanced tips to utilize her movement. First, let's take a look at the crouch slide. The crouch slide is what makes her freely change her momentum in a direction very quickly. This is what gives her the edge in lightning gun fights, and in particular, fights with rockets in open areas. Keep in mind the more circular motion you have, the higher speed you'll get. When you're looking to move around the map, always think about being on the ground. Even on subtle movements like downstairs and small ledges, you can crouch slide without having to jump. Without having to jump, you spend less time in the air and are able to dodge better. Lastly, when you jump from a high position, Slash is able to crouch slide for a long period of time, which makes it able to take battles with LG and rockets more advantageously. Now let's take a look at a moment from Dehang vs Vu at the Quake World Championships. This is dangerous, he shouldn't be around here. Let's see if it's going to be capitalized upon by Vu as he comes around the corner now, going for that push onto the Mega, using the Plasma Patrol on the Mega, he's going to pick it up during the fight, that's what you need to do in Dehang's position, he's still strong, he will take the Aster Split though. In this clip, Dehang is dealing with a vastly stacked soul lag. Here he's utilizing position, using the Plasma Trail for damage and item denial, and attempting to out damage the soul lag with rockets. With better rockets, this is absolutely the play you should be looking to make. With the Plasma Trail, there's a few things to consider. Firstly, the trail is divided up into segments. An opponent that stands in the trail takes 50 damage every second. Each segment explosion deals 50 damage, and the next subsequent segment dealing a maximum of 40 damage. Each segment is divided up into parts. Here you can clearly see how far each part is based on the light bloom. Looking more closely at crouch sliding, notice how there's full control over horizontal movements. In the crouch sliding animation, Slash becomes even more difficult to hit, and versus champions of a similar health stack, the crouch slide is what makes you take an advantage in fights. In matchups, Slash is king when it comes to mid to low health champions. Utilizing lightning gun and rocket, Slash can be almost unbeatable. Versus these champions, always be looking to take a fight, escape with a better health stack, and weave around your opponent with a superior stack and movement. Versus larger champions like Scalebearer, Clutch, and Solag, she can struggle. Even with two major items, Slash's max health is 150 and 100, which is the same base health pool of Solag. Especially with the damage bonus on Solag, she has to almost fight her and large health champions in two engagements, or at least with some initial damage from the railgun. In these situations, really take advantage of her movement for distant railgun shots and backwards crash sliding with nailgun and rockets. To beat Slash, do your best to be defensive with rockets while having a superior stack. She will be predictable in her movement, so be patient with rockets and the frags will come. With all the logical information aside, let's check out some sick slash frags. 